Welcome to Homebrew Wednesday. Today I got several different little things I'm just going to show you. So I'm just going to put up quick clips of several different bears, or a couple different bears anyway. Um, and also another little something that I did with the vinegar. So this is actually a bottle of beer that was sent to me by a friend of mine here in Missouri. His name is Brad Gray. I will put his link to his webpage down there. He does a lot of stuff like uh, hydroponics and gardening and things like that. So check out his webpage, show him some love. So we're going to try his beer. And he said this is just like a, a light beer, so I guess it would be something more along the lines of uh, ooh, very nicely carbonated. Like a Coors or a Budweiser or something like that, I guess. And I don't know, he's, he made wine and I have a couple bottles of wine, one of them that he actually made and I believe the other one is actually a uh, store wine, store bought, that he said from actually a company down there. Go freaking figure. I'll be right back. Sorry about that, my grandson has uh, allergies really bad. So, it's a very nice looking bear. And it's not, it's not hazy. The glass is kind of fogged up some, but it's got some nice carbonation to it. It's got a nice head on it. It's got a really nice aroma. Like floral aroma to it. Okay, let's give this let's give this a taste. Go down head. And this is a nice thick creamy head too. It's not just, you know, like big loose bubbles. It's it's pretty nice. That part tastes pretty good. <laughs> But a good beer. It almost. I know I said it was a light beer, but I'm I'm gonna say what this tastes like to me. It almost has a uh, saison or a. Belgian characteristic to it. It's very nice. Very good beer. It's nice and clean. So like I said, it just to me it tastes a lot like a Saison. It's good. It's got a good bitter to it. And it's sweetened just enough. That it's not overly bitter and it's not overly sweet. It's a very well balanced beer, Brad. Thank you very much. I'm going to finish this at my leisure. I don't like to chug my beers, especially when it's a gift beer. I just as soon take my time and actually enjoy it. But this, Brad, this is a very good beer and I cannot wait to get into the uh, bottle of wine that you made. So that should be very good. So thank you, Brad. Uh, you all go check out his channel, please. Uh, so like I said, I'll put the link down below. And go subscribe to him. Check it out. He's got some really good videos. So thanks, Brad. Cheers. 17. We'll be back with some more stuff. Good stuff. Okay, welcome back. Ooh, a little close on the zoom there. And the bear I have now is the... Irish stout that I brewed. This is basically my original recipe, but I did add a pound of oats to this. This has been carbonating about two and a half weeks, maybe. Maybe not quite that long. So let's see what we got here. It's like I said, it's not, it's not really too carbonated and maybe I'm crazy but do oats have a tendency to kind of kill the head on these things because the head on this is not anything like it normally is so if oats have a ten has a tendency to uh, affect the head let me know I think it would be just the other way around but this beer The one thing I did notice with the oats is that it actually seems to have cut uh, the sharpness on this, the uh, the roasted barley taste. It kind of cut that out. 
and it's been sort of replaced by a coffee slash chocolate flavor. And I guess maybe the oats just took the edge of that uh, the, the kind of burnt character off of the roasted barley. I mean, it smells really good. It smells almost like a coffee stout. And I'm not a huge fan of coffee stouts. I like the smell of them, but as far as the taste is concerned, not really. But... It is more like... It's more like a coffee stout now than it is the uh, regular stout that I brew. I mean, it's good. It's not so coffee flavored that it's like or anything, but there's not any coffee in this thing, so go figure. But it does have a really, really nice mouthfeel. And I'll put the video with this just real short. Um, I did use my mash stir, so you'll get to see the video of that. Somebody had asked if I use that, and sometimes I do. It just depends on uh, the size of the beer. I mean, how much, how many pounds of grain and stuff I have in there. But uh, mashed it. Well, you'll just have to watch a video. I can't remember. I'm not the best at taking notes either. But we'll give it another couple weeks and stuff to see if the carbonation comes up on this. Right now, so like I said, I usually pour the carbonation out of this by pouring it really aggressively. But I mean, this is like a really, it's pitch black. I mean, there's, there ain't no light coming through this, even along the edges of this. And I do believe that probably with the mash stir that I used and the, uh, excuse me, Brad, that beer that you had, the alcohol is really well hidden, that's all I can say. It's, yeah, anyway. But <laughs> that I will say with, I think the mass temperature that I had on this, see I can't even talk, mash temperature that I had on this and the mash stir that my efficiency must have been pretty good because this one alka actually has just a little bit of uh, alcohol legs on it. And while normally my beer, this Irish stout is normally more like a 4%, maybe a little bit higher than that, I would say this one, I really didn't change anything that much. Uh, this one is probably closer to, let's see if I can swirl this so you can see what I'm talking about. Almost like an oily film on the side of it. Yeah, you probably really can't see what I'm seeing. But it's like an, almost an oily film. But I would say this one is probably closer to 6%, maybe a little bit higher. Which, I mean, that's alright. I don't, it's like I said before, I don't brew for the alcohol content. But this, just that one pound of oats in this beer, uh, really pretty much changed the profile on it. It's good. Would I do it again? Probably not because I really like the original recipe. And this, this changed it. I like the mouthfeel. It gives it a nice really creamy mouthfeel. But as far as the flavor, I like the flavor of the original better. So I said this would be nice to, uh, I think the oats would have been really good in the chocolate beer that I had. And a little lactose I think for sweetness because it's pretty, it's a pretty bitter chocolate beer. But anyway, I think I've rambled on way too long. I'll show you one more thing before we go, and sorry if I bored you to tears, but uh, we'll be right back home in just a so, second. So, we're going to put our jacket on here. So, put this one, put this on here. They're pushing the limits of that pot. <laughs> Hope it doesn't come out the top when I turn it on. Noisy, so. And sometimes I do have to adjust the temperature on this a little bit. Right now it looks like it's about one, 150. 
which that's fine with me. Okay, since we have Winter Storm Virgil here, I'm going to use Virgil to cool off my beer. Should I say my wort? One of these across the top just to make sure the lid don't blow off. And my bag of grains, I'm going to say, chill those down because I told I'm going to make treats for the dogs in the shelter. So. We're going to save these and I'll freeze them. So Remember the smoked vinegar I had? The uh, stuff that I made with the smoked beer that wasn't also great. <laughs> Hold on, let me make sure that I got you on the video here. Okay, there we go. This is a pickled egg. <laughs> this probably would not be a good idea to eat with my supper tonight because I'm having cabbage and sausage soup and two home brews and it's probably a good thing I sleep by myself. <laughs> See the color this has turned this egg? Oh, the hell with it. Let's cut into it. <laughs> See what it looks like. I will say one thing. It's a stinky little devil. It smells like boiled eggs and well, you know what those smell like. So, well, we'll be right back when you get a knife. All right, let's cut into this. This has been in there about a week, I guess, and it's kind of rubbery. The consistency has completely changed. It's stiffer. So let's see. I may try this just for the hell of it. <laughs> and film it so you can see what I look like going, ew! Tell the pickles kind of come in just a little bit on the edges, not a whole lot. If I left it in there longer, I'm sure it probably would have soaked in more. So let's do a video and see what kind of face I make with this. I did leave this in the refrigerator because I was not sure on the acidity of that vinegar. So like I said, without an acid test kit, I can't really tell you exactly what the acidity on that vinegar is. You want it between like four and five percent if you're going to actually pickle like vegetables and stuff. But just to play it safe, I left this in the, the refrigerator. And the egg is cooked already, so. Let's do a face shot on this. This should be fun, folks. Ooh, back out. I don't want to scare the hell out of you there. Alrighty. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Mmm. I bet I'm going to be later. See what it smells like. Eggy and vinegary. Not really too smoky. So let's try this and see what this tastes like. I make a really bad face. And this may be my last video, folks. Uh, this, like I said, I don't know. So, okay. Actually, that's not bad. It's beyond that. We're tasting like just plain boiled egg. Hmm. It's kind of got a bigger vinegar wang, but it's not real bad. No, just kidding. <laughs> that didn't have bad. So, I have. I had that jar left over. I think I'll probably throw that jar out now since it was extra. So if I don't die from this tonight or in the next day or two, then I will say that the acidity in that vinegar was enough. That ain't half bad, folks. You need to probably really ought to try that. Hmm. Who knew? Listen. If this video is posted and I don't show up in the next week, don't try this experiment. On a scale of one to ten, honestly, 
I give that about an eight. Pretty good. Swingy. Man, I'm going to be dangerous tonight. <laughs> so, anyway, I'm going to end this video here. I think I've made you all suffer long enough. Uh, so, stay tuned. This is going to be, yeah, dangerous things. Maybe I should film myself later, like within the next couple, three hours. Or not. So, you all have a good Humber Wednesday. Cheers, 17. I will see you next week, or I will see you Friday night on Craig Tube. Enjoy the fruits of your labor. Brew beer, brew wine, drink somebody else's beer or wine, and make vinegar and pickled eggs. <laughs> what the hell, folks? We're all having fun. So, <laughs> y'all take it easy. Later.